Welcome back. No, I'm not going to sing. I don't want you to, I want you to keep watching the course. Uh, very short lesson, very important lesson. Uh, this is going to deal with the Cisco Discovery Protocol. All right. You, need, you will be using the Cisco Discovery Protocol in, uh, I believe, in your switch simulation, uh, according to my students that have taken the examination. Uh, that's one of the commands that they had to, to type, all right, or the two commands that you're going to learn today. So you need to understand, if they give you a print screen of the show CDP neighbor or show CDP, show CDP neighbor detail, or if you need to type it, what exactly is it that you're looking at? Now, obviously, the name itself tells you that it's a Cisco uh, invented protocol, right? Cisco discovery protocol. And what it does, it goes out sends out little hellos and it um, it finds its neighbors it sees who is directly connected to that's what it does that's it that's what it does to see who is connected to your book makes a real world scenario where if you had to actually create a map of your network you can actually I've seen actually one too many times you can see you can create the uh, uh, the map of your network if you had to do that and it's a large enterprise, I'm sorry for you. All right, please get some third party software. But uh, for your testing purposes, you can use the show CDP neighbor or show CDP neighbor detail. So let's go to router one and we'll maximize that. And let's log in again. So let's go. And we do show CDP neighbor. Yes, I put name, I don't put neighbor. I'll tab it out so you can see exactly what the whole command is. Just in case, well not just in case, you will be typing that command in if you have the switch simulation, all right? And what am I looking at? I'm looking at my directly connected neighbors. I'm looking at the switch that's just underneath me and the router two that's just to the right of me. Right, right, left, with however where you're standing. So router two. Uh, this is my local interface. So on my F00 and on my serial 000, I am learning, I am receiving information about my neighbor, right? It's telling me, well, I'm going to contain this information for this period of time. It's telling me the capabilities that, hey, this is a switch. This is a router. Well, what type of switch is it? It's a 2960 and it's an 1841 and I'm sending it to you. And this is important when you're doing the show CDP neighbor, I am sending it to you through the F024 on the switch or through the F001 of your neighbor router. This is why you see that in my labs, I always put F024 connected to the router, F00. So visually, I know that that's the switch. I don't even need to look at this. I, I know that's my switch. This is the reason why. Big, so you can understand this particular protocol. So you... Your switch is sending CDP information through its F024 and you are receiving that information on the F00 of your local interface, of your local interface. Oh, and here in the router side, you are sending the F001 CDP information, you're sending it and you're receiving it on your local interface. Very basic information, layer two information, but what if you want to see more? information than just that. What would you type? Well, you would type detail. And now you see a lot more information. Let's scroll up. All right, show CDP neighbor detail. Now, if the switch itself would have an IP address, right? Here's the, that's what it means by entry address. It means IP address, you would see it right there. It still tells you the platform, the capabilities of which is the switch. The fast Ethernet 00 is the local port and the outgoing port F024 is where the information is coming from. Coming from. All right. Take a look at the router. Let's keep going down a little bit. You see this right here. Router 2. There is the IP address of router 2. So you can see the IP address. But look at it also. Not only can you see it's a router, the type of router, the your local interface the other routers interface, but you're also looking at proprietary information like the iOS 
okay, that that particular router has. So you see a lot more information. This one right here, show CDP number detail, is extremely something like it's got me back here, it's pinching me. Uh, this information in here is extremely important. You will be getting print screens like this, and you will have to type the show CDP number detail so you can get information. Like what? Let's say somebody or in the test or what have you will ask you, hey, I want to know um, who was the last person that sent you information or something to that effect, right? Oh, oh well, no, no, let's see, that'll be a bad example. Let's see. Uh, let's say you're stuck, like I'm, I'm here, I'm on a router, and you want to know the other router's uh, IP address and name and what have you. This would be what you can type, show CDP neighbor detail. You get the IP address, you get the name, all right? But in your switch, when you're inside a switch, uh, they're going to ask you, and when we get to the switching part, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We'll do the same command, all right, with other commands combined, so it will help you for the certification. But this show CDP neighbor detail is important, especially when it comes to knowing the IP address, the IP address, because you're going to have to match up that IP address with another screen to go ahead and get the name of the device, to get the name of the device. So that's extremely important. Show CDP neighbor and show CDP neighbor de uh, detail. It's a Cisco discovery protocol and it's used to find its locally attached neighbors. If there's another router beyond or another, you know, another switch connected to the, like a core switch, you're not gonna see the other switch. Only what you are directly connected to is what you see. That's what Cisco Discovery Protocol. Now, let's say you type the command and nothing came out. That means Cisco Discovery Protocol wasn't on. Now, there's two ways. There's in global configuration. You can, now this obviously was on, so if I wanted to turn it off, I would say no CDP run. And I just turned off CDP globally. Or I can say CDP run and turn it back on. But let's say you have an interface. Let's say you have an interface that's uh, going out towards the internet or towards a network that you don't want to send your CDP information because you don't want them to know, you know, your information, your IP address, your host name, what kind of iOS or capabilities you are. You don't want to send that information out. So you will go to that particular interface and let's take a look at, let's just pick an interface. Do you show IP into brief? Just to look at my interfaces. All right, let's use the uh, F01 int f0 slash 1 and I'm just going to do no CDP enable. That's the difference. Globally, you do either CDP run to turn it on or no CDP run to turn it off. Globally. If you want to do it on an interface by interface basis is CDP enable, or if you want to turn it off, no CDP enable. So, and that's it. That's as far as you need to go with this command for the CCNA certification. Very simple. Just again, and I'm going to type it again so you don't forget show CDP neighbor tab detail. All right, this one right here, this is the one that I'm more concerned with, with this particular screen right here where it says router2 and the IP address. This right here, be aware of the screen. Remember, this is your local interface. This is your neighbor's interface, okay? This is the IP address of your neighbor, the name of your neighbor, because you're looking at your neighbor, all right? Don't forget that. Extremely important, you will be using this, and you will see this command again once we get to switching. I'll see you in the next lesson.